you treat the system such a way that when you get $1,000, the time you blink your eye, you have $5. <laughs> <laughs> You have five dollars in color. So what is now and then? Where is it? Hi guys, I'm Gabby, and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, and if you're returning, thank you so much, and welcome back. Look who we got! <laughs> we got more with Mo. Yep. All right, so if for the people who it may be their first time visiting the channel, introduce yourself. Once again, I'm happy to be here, and um, my name is Mohammed. Don't call me Mo for short, or Mo Money. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask my husband a couple of questions just to talk about him making the transition here and how that's been going for him. Transitioning from Ghana um, to America, when you were in Ghana, right? You that's your home, that's your sense of self. You know who you are as a man. Then you come to a new country, it's kind of like being an infant again because you started over and you have to learn new things, right? So, did you feel like you lost your sense of confidence, lost your sense of self as a man, or so explain that though that transition and those feelings once again? Uh, I'm Mohammed or King Mo. So, okay, King Mo. Yeah, <laughs> we Africans, one, we are not afraid to travel. Mm -hmm. We not, we are not afraid to travel. We don't know nobody yet. We don't have any family member there, but we still go. We feel like death or death is like a chain. The gold chain or diamond chain in your neck. Everywhere you go, you go with it. So it's what it is, what it is. Everywhere you go, it's with you. When you survive, fine. When you don't survive, that's cool. Okay. <clears throat> this is how we deal with it. At times, when you are home, you feel comfortable. Like you are home. You feel comfortable, right? The system in Africa, not specifically Ghana, the system there doesn't help the citizens. To be honest with you, it doesn't help the citizens. But um, our sisters and brothers, to when you travel to overseas, they thought when you come here, everything is like dandelion or everything is like easy easy you wake up there's honey mm -hmm. there is sugar there's a money there's tree money you just grab like, money off of that is how some of us we thought like we, we think before we traveled you know so um i don't blame them but when you are telling them they don't understand so when you come to when you travel to one, let's say this, Africa people, they are nice, they are not nice as in Asia, no, they are very, they have a good heart, you know, we, you have a bad people, yes, that one is there, but majority of them, they are nice and they entertain strangers, right? But when you come to America, it's a different ball game more together. It's a different ball game more together. So me living in Africa, moving to the US, it's, 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 it's a little bit, um, uh, it's, it's hard to manage. It's very, very hard to manage. You know, like you are in this culture and you move to this culture, mm -hmm. right? So if you don't have anybody to guide you, you'll be doing some, you'll be stepping some people's toes. And if uh, God is not taking, maybe you, you might lose your life. To be honest with you, you might lose your life. 
for instance, the time I came, Africa, <clears throat> when you see, when you are growing from your child, when you are growing and you see somebody who is older than you, you greet the person. Mm -hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Those kind of things, it's our quarter. Right. When you see a senior man or a senior sister or aunt, respect, and respect the those kind of things. When they are when they are carrying things, you don't know them. Mm. When they are carrying things, you help. Mm. Your sister or your mother might send you to go and buy something, but you see maybe old old woman or old old man carrying something heavy, you have to help. You know, and that is. But here. So it's, it's part of us, mm -hmm. okay. But the time I moved from Africa and I came here, oh God, I saw a lady, an old lady, at um, um, Publix. And this old lady is struggling to pack the things in the car. Go, you no, know, like going to her car and trying to and I try to end she's like she's she's like <laughs> hey who are you is I'm kind of oh I'm trying to help who called you like <laughs> and I said oh sorry and I moved so it happened to me twice and I went to and, uh, and I, I discussed it with my uh, my co-workers and they told me America so the person said oh please can you help me before you assist them. You can assist them. When they are that, they, or at least ask them if they want your help first. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they they told me that when you don't do that and you go, they can call nine one one or you and um, they will just give allegation. That you was attacking you them attacking, or they were fearful. Yeah. So you know, yeah. if you don't know all these things. It's something you can fall yourself into when you, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, it's, it's challenging. Here in America, it's, uh, if you are somebody who like to chill, like Africa, that's why we say, like, have fun, go out, chill, like, those kind of things. If you are those kind of people, so it's hard. When you when you are African and you travel to America, if you don't if you don't have focus in life, you cannot make it. If you don't have focus, like, hey, this is my goal. This this is the reason why I came here. This is what I'm coming to do. This is you can't make it in life. Yes, you have to have focus. Like, hey, first three months, this is what. I want to do. You gotta have a plan. Yes, like plan, and you know, you can have a plan, and you, it's no, you don't have focus. Your plan is yeah. You need a plan you know, and focus. focus. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. In America system, in certain way, is good. In certain way, it's not good. I know some people will bash me, but the reason why I'm saying I'm African. I know the reason why I'm saying in certain ways is good, in certain ways is not good. Mm. Africa, we, we do cash. Here, they do credit. Mm. Right? So, Africa, if you don't have the cash, you can't do anything. Here, they give you the credit and you pay like times two or times three. By the end of the day, you pay it, but mm. you, you get what you want. And you have to be knowledgeable for that because if you're not aware of it, you can fall into trouble with that credit system, not being knowledgeable of it. Th that is the thing, yeah. you know, it's my opinion. The system is good in certain ways. The system is not good in certain ways. Okay, the, uh, let's talk about how the system is not good. What I realized is this. They did the system such a way that when you get $1,000, the time you blink your eye, it's gone. You have five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. <laughs> you have five dollars. Look at So what is now and then? Where is it? Where is it? And now you you take a paper and pay. Start calculating. Oh, I bought gas fifty dollars. Oh, I pay light bill this. Oh, I pay rent seven hundred. Oh, I pay this this. I pay. You see? Oh, so how can you live? 
and now you will be owing groceries if you don't if you, you don't have groceries you know so they made a system that when you get the money you're supposed to spend the money here That's you don't the have to money. go it's 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 hard it's tight in here that's why i'm saying that you have to have plans you have to get like be focused have plans in this life every one of us oh everybody oh so at times you see these rich people you see these rich people i don't want to mention names you know these people these baby people i'm telling you this for a fact they owe do you know why they owe <clears throat> i'm somebody i don't have money right they can call me hey mo come and work for me come and do something for me in my house right it can pay me outright so i will go they don't do that so if you charge him five thousand dollars you say oh mo um, do you know what you finish the job okay well, nice i love it this, this. and he'll give you four thousand dollars say next week or next two is come and take it do you know why they do that a lot of people doesn't know they want you to be part of them mm. and they, they want to create some relationship with them yeah have you attached to them to, yeah. to them mm. that's why they do it's not like they can't pay you mm. so when he need you he will call you for another job mm. and you say oh a whole thousand dollar instant he will pay you the thousand dollar and he'll give you another job mm. because you are good right yeah, we have some people in this world. When they get five thousand dollars, right, and when you call him for a job, it's not going to show up till the five thousand dollars finish. We have some people like that, and these rich people, that is how they behave. So all of them, they owe. All of them. It's 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 kind of very bad. A very bad system. Now. Let's talk about work. Like what what do you notice like your work life experience in Ghana versus your work life experience here in America? What differences did you notice and your thoughts on that? See, don't let any African person lie to you that oh I'm coming for I'm coming to America, I'm coming to Europe for no reason. See, we see one. I'm not going okay, let me see this. All politicians, one car brought them in this world. One car brought them. Car? Yes, it's, it's, it's proverb. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's see, all these politicians, one wom wom uh, woman give birth to them. Mm -hmm. So they are the same. That mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. But see, see the difference, a little bit difference between them. Okay. African politicians, they don't think about the people. Mm. They think about themselves mm -hmm. and their family. Mm. Somebody will say that, oh, American politicians is like that. Yeah, European uh, politicians is like that. But see the difference. You have not lived in Ghana before. You have mm. come to Ghana before. I've lived in Ghana mm. and I've lived in America. Mm. So I know what I'm talking about. African politicians, oh god. See, they don't give the they, okay, they don't give us opportunity, right, to work. There's no any one percent opportunity in Africa. Okay, when it comes to US, as I came, three I've changed job three times, three times. Africa before you get a half a job oh lord if you're a woman some boss will sleep with you before mm. or if you are um, yeah, they have to hit you <laughs> don't get it twisted listen mm. zero out of ten okay I get what you're saying but yeah mm. America here because we have classes you do and they will say sexual harassment mm -hmm. in here mm -hmm. right so when you, you report them mm -hmm. they can africa who is going to do that, sexual right. harassment right. you know so that is the difference mm -hmm. i came here and any african person who traveled to overseas is because of job 
because of job Amer any Amer any america or european person will not travel to africa when you travel to africa is going to do business and bring mm -hmm. the money back to here mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. it has the money and it's going to invest in something there right but you won't see any african person bring money from africa come and invest here right mm -hmm. What they will do is they will come and buy the items and go and sell it in Africa. Mm -hmm. Africa, there is no job. There's no job opportunity. There is nothing like opportunity in Africa. I'm from Africa. I love Africa. If you want to enjoy Africa, get your money. When you get money, the whole world, there is none of any place in this world like africa like sweet like enjoy life like everything is chilling like you know like free world is in africa so when you say get your money then how are they gonna go about getting their money like if there's no opportunity in africa so they have to they have to, to travel they have to travel, travel to, to overseas get, and um, come and do the hard work and go there and chill so their plan that plan would be to leave to to build and then to come back and mm -hmm. to live off of that to, yeah, what, to what live, they build to live big mm -hmm. that is if that's thing. your goal that is yes okay but <clears throat> sitting in africa making it either you're a politician or you're a thief oh, oh. that's a huge <laughs> A politician or a thief? It's the same thing. <laughs> but I'm trying to twist the word. It's the same thing. African politicians, they are thieves. So, and we have a thief thief. So you're saying there's no well to do? There's no... There's wealthy people in Africa, <clears throat> right? So how... I, Hold on. We have people who are rich in Africa. Mm. They have not traveled before. Mm. And they became rich, mm. right? Okay. When they are telling you their story, they have a godfather somewhere. Mm. Okay. Or somebody met them. They say, oh, I'll help you. And they just click like that. Mm. But that opportunity now is not there. Those time is there. Now, it's hard and now because the system is too corrupt to the extent that people doesn't want to help people because now when you help people self people doesn't appreciate and they, they will betray you they will spend your money it's, it's it's a lot it's a lot but here you do your work you get your money let me give you an example i'm an it person i'm an it guy right okay a time I don't want to mention the company I work with. Mm -hmm. They pay us monthly. They don't pay us weekly. They pay me now hundred dollar a month. Now it's hundred dollar a month. Mm -hmm. So hundred dollar a month, self is like uh, let's see, thousand Ghana or thousand two hundred Ghana. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That is what they pay me a month. Okay. As I travel to the state, that money, I'm getting it like four or five times, or let's say, let's come below. <laughs> you will be start calculating, you know. <laughs> three, three or four times a week. Now, now, did you see the difference? What I'm getting a month. Doing hard work all these months. I moved to America. I'm making that money a times three or four a week. Mm -hmm. Though <laughs> I don't want to compare. I don't want to do this. But it's it's good. America overseas. I'm not going to tell my worst my worst enemy self that you should not travel. Somebody I don't like in life. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to. When you tell me, hey, Mo, I want to travel. I say, bro, go. Africa. So you saying you happy that you made that you're here? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. One thing too about Africans, this is how we are. 
they can disrespect you when you are with them. They can disrespect you. They don't respect you. They will insult you. As soon as you travel mm -hmm. to overseas and they hear that, oh, you have traveled, they carry you like a king when they come down. When you go back home. Yes. So have you had people that were mean and rude to you when you came back home or like treating you mm -hmm. like... In this life, the scriptures said, see that if all people love you, mm. sorry. And sorry for you. For you, yes. Mm. And all people don't like you too, sorry. So definitely, you will get enemy. When everybody likes you, still, you still get enemy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me, I'm doing good in Africa. Because I work. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Every Friday, I have people, my friends or some guys I know, they come home, come to my place, mm -hmm. and give them money. After $100 a month. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, I have a plans mm -hmm. and I'm a giver. That is me. Well, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, if it is my last one dollar self and you come with your story, I don't mind. I, I don't mind to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same, these people will go and sit somewhere and be talking about me. The oh, same it, people you gave the money to. Yes. And, oh, and you, you know this. I know. And you know what? I used to tell some people, I used to advise people and tell them that, hey, when people does that, don't don't fuck them. Don't don't get mad at them. When they come, you have to give it to them. As soon as they as soon as they take the money, they curse themselves. Mm. Yes, that is how life is. Mm. It's kind of calm at them, right? Let's say let me let's let me use you for example. You are my friend, and then. He came to me and he said, Mo, oh, Mo, Mo, Mr. Charlie, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So, oh, take this $20, $30. Go and eat. And you go. And you you see another friend. And you say, oh, oh God, I went to Mo's place. I said, uh, I, I don't have anything more. Mm. He think he's, he's working. So, like, he talk nonsense about me, right? And the, that person, he talk nonsense about me. The person see me maybe two, three days later, and the person comes. He say, "Oh, this person did he say? Oh, did 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 did? Mm -hmm. He insulted me. I say, oh, no problem. Forget about him, right? When you come back to me and you ask me something and I give it to you and you use it for something, it's a curse. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a curse to you. You will be staying where you are, well, and I'll you're making, your making my mm -hmm. yes because I don't have." Any It'll bad mind and everything, and you are sitting there, and I'm feeding you, and mm. you are talking nonsense about me. Mm. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of people like that, and I know I give people money, I give people money, they talk nonsense about me. As I went to Ghana recently, mm. <laughs> I don't want to tell you, uh, yo, yo, it's, it's, you know the time I'm doing this shopping thing. They say, ah, why, why am I doing a lot of shopping? Mm. I saw I'm going to. Give it to this my person, this person, person, and you say, oh, no, no, no. Then I say, hey, Africa, that is how we are. When you travel, when you are going home. Oh, uh, you're really like to... that. In... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like <laughs> but not everybody can do that. Mm -hmm. You know, some people doesn't care me, and I care. Mm -hmm. Some people sit and they talk trash about me. And you know, definitely, if ten people are sitting, one like you, and you come and tell you. Mm -hmm. And I tell them that hey, forget about them. I'm not in Ghana, I'm in the US. What's your problem? When I come and you ask me and I can give you, I'll give it to you. If I don't have it, I'll say, bro, Charlie, I broke. That's it. Oh, they were upset because you didn't give them something? I give them. But they were still talking, Trey. Yeah. See, African people, when you travel and they feel like you owe them. <laughs> that is how they feel. But you know what? They feel like you owe them. I know, I know this. 
that when you went, like some of the stuff that you had, you didn't come back with. Like some of the things I gave, I gave, well, some of the things you took, you didn't come back with. And then some of these things were new and you were saying, oh, I, I dashed it to this person. You know, they See, wanted, I dashed it to that person. I, buy, I bought expensive watch. I bought expensive spray, cologne. Oh, that didn't come back either, did it? I bought, uh, I bought uh, a soccer pants. Mm -hmm. And the slippers, I remember and those. those the, uh, the Saturday I went to play soccer, they took everything. See, so lucky. I knew they do. They would do that. So I took. I took to find <laughs> soccer shorts. Oh, somebody can oh no, they, me. I don't like anything. It's what you are wearing. Is what I. I said, oh, I don't have anything. He just starting pulling on me. Oh, Africa. You see, bro. And you know, it's funny and like it's like that. It's like that. You know. But it's. It's me, I, I feel like it's what it is, what it is. How was it with you trying to find your rhythm, your new routine, or um, whatever you want to call it in the US? How was that for you? Like, did it take you a while? When they don't give birth to you in America mm -hmm. or overseas. Sorry, bro. Sorry. I mean, 75 years, 18 years, 18 years, I think you're good. 60 years, let's say from 25 years going upwards. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. See, when you travel from Africa to overseas, you are coming to learn, you are coming to be a baby. Mm. You are coming to learn everything. Everything new and it takes time. It takes time. It's not like ours. Like we we are kind of hey we'll go anywhere, we'll die, we'll die, something like that. But some people bro, it's 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 really it's, it's not it's not easy. See, see, it's it's, it's different it, the the quarter difference is huge. It's huge when they bring you here in America, right? Mm -hmm. And you're a child, God bless. Because you learn everything new, right? But when you are like 18, coming to 50, 60, you're coming to struggle to know everything, to learn everything. You know, because you move from some place, you know things already. Now you are coming to. Some place you don't know anything because their system is different, and how the people behave inside too is different. American people, some people behave weird. Here, they don't ask directions. <laughs> Here in America, wait, when you get lost, you get lost. The time, oh please can. Then the person is too is running away. Please can you, anybody, hey do you, why are you following here? Do you go stand there? You know, it's, it's, it's Africa. You can a ask directions. D. You just have to be careful who D. you ask it from. D. D. Everybody is here. Doing their own thing, it, minding it, their see, business. America is like, everybody's scared. Everybody Distrust is, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Distrust. Think you have an ulterior motive if you come up to them. You know? Yeah. So, I, I run to a lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm using GPS all right. Mm -hmm. And you know, some GPS, the GPS, some are crazy. They can put you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Oh, please, can you show me this day? <laughs> the time you are asking me questions, he's <laughs> scared. And, and I feel like it's not him. Maybe it's a victim of maybe bullying or somebody did something to I think it's or, worse for men too. Yeah, I think you know, women have a little bit more leeway with and, that. And, and, and see, this thing happened to me a lot. Mm -hmm. Africa is common. Africa, some, the person who you are asking for a direction who waste all the time to give you a direction. <laughs> hey, you say, okay, when you get to that junction, you pass left. When you get to that, it will show you like, oh God, 
they will take you if they could with me. Yes. Some people say, oh, Follow what direction me. are you going? Follow me. Yeah. Follow me. Here, the... You still have people like that here, but it's hard to find. Oh, God. In the southern states, you would. The, the, the. South Carolina, they'll, they'll, they'll drive you to a place you need to go. Because you're from there. <laughs> I'm trying to make that look Okay, I went to South Carolina. I don't want to see, talk about South Carolina. Okay, talk, tell them about South Carolina. I went, we went to South Carolina and um, we went to some shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, a lady, I, 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 like, I, I, I hate her, right? Like, not intentional. And her, this thing, she's holding something and the thing fell. Yeah, so and I pick it for mm. because I it's my fault and I pick it for. Yeah, so oh, sorry. Come and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it and start insulting me. What was this? Yeah, yeah. The time we went to South Carolina. You don't, I don't want to. I was with you. Yes. Where were we? I was when you go to a store, you walk to the lady side and I walk to the, to the men's side because yeah, I'm buying men thing and you're buying it. And it's, come and see. I say, okay, okay, and I start, I ran away like, <laughs> I move from there. Why you didn't tell me? What are you, going, you, what are you going to do? You know me. And I don't want to. <laughs> it, you know, it's like. That's why you didn't tell me? It's like, I don't want to do, I don't Make want to. Scene. I don't want to create any scene, right? Any scene to let everybody to win. What is the scene like? Oh, is this? You know, some people doesn't know, and me. What store was this? Oh, see some store. I say I want some red jeans. Do you remember we went to some store? See some red jeans. Yeah, that store. And me. Oh, your favorite store that you always want me to buy something. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That store. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. You see the people. I went to a gas station in Georgia. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and um, somebody, I'm asking somebody a question. It's a black guy. And it, it's kind of, hey, chill out, chill out. Hey, stand up, stand up. As you do, like, I'm, and as, you know, I feel comfortable when I see a black guy. Mm. I feel comfortable, like, hey. But America here, when you are black, they are black, oh, mm. but they see you different. They see you different. Yeah, yeah they see. They me. know you not from here. Yes, they see you different, and they they, they can sense it. They and, can tell. And, and and the way they react towards you is different. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so we Africans, we we we, we see all black Americans as a, as our sisters and brothers. That's how we see it. Mm -hmm. So when you see or like we feel happy, we feel mm. this. But when you guys see us, you see <laughs> what, what kind of uh, uh, breed is this? Like <laughs> what kind of people is they? Hey, bro, hey, it's not you can. We are the same color, bro. Okay, come on, chill out. <laughs> we are the same color. Just that our African, you know. And when we talk, you mess everything up. <laughs> So the accent come is out, oh, it's when they see you, they can tell. Mm -hmm. But when you talk, <sighs> you confirm it. See your demeanor, right? American blacks, they mm -hmm. have the way they walk, the way they do their things. The, you know, the women, the men. So if you are from Africa, they can tell straight, <laughs> like, hey, you, you from this place? You're not from yeah. here. And. Maybe you have some accent too. Oh, <laughs> see, ah, do you? I told you this. Somebody asked me, Africa, do you guys have? Uh, do you guys sleep in the tree? <laughs> what, kind of, what, bro, what, what kind of question is that? That's so ignorant. You know? Yes. <laughs> and I say, hey, say, hey, hey, no offense, no offense. We learned it for, from school. I say, hey, then you, your school didn't teach you good things. What? Though. Yeah, and some people ask me, Do we have internet? I say, Oh, it's a lot of people that feel like all of Africa is like 
not well we know Africa doesn't have jungles but most people don't know that they think it's a jungle or it's like a village they think everything looks like the villages where people are poor mm -hmm. they don't have anything but there's places in Africa that Didi, let me tell you something look, that are very like Didi, hold on let me tell you something it's simple up everywhere in this world there is poverty in some way yes that's true there's some there you're gonna have your poor places the first know. day the first day i saw homeless people in georgia here mm -hmm. i said wow <laughs> <laughs> wow africa has moved here <laughs> Not. no and see these homeless people right the sorry no offense i don't want to offend anybody yeah, I might be in that situation, mm -hmm. but I feel like, bro, what is the problem? If me, I can travel from Africa to come and do hard work here, mm -hmm. here is your country. Why you can't? It's not as easy as that, though. It's it's a okay, lot you have to of build like your credit, neon, right? nuances mm -hmm. and factors to it. Like a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck. You lose your job, you can be homeless like that. Just I, like that. I understand. So, and I it's hard it. to build back from that sometimes. Especially if you have bad credit, you don't have the money. It's, it's hard. I got so, it. it's easy to get into and it's very hard to get out of. Okay. I got it. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not mm. easy. And... When I see them, I, I feel some way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to, I used to get a lot of um, questions about Africans, about this. Why do you move here? Why do you move? Here? Why are you what moving? Do? Yeah. Like they feel like now. I think they are wising up, which is the Black Americans. Mm -hmm. They are wising up. They feel like. Africa is the best place to live and why did you move here? Mm. That's the question. Mm. Say, hey, why do you move here? Because you see, all these stars used to go to Ghana. The year of the return or something? Yeah, the year of the returns. Mm. Good. So when they come, they come to sit on the uh, TV shows and other places and mm. go, oh, I went to Ghana, is this, is this. Mm. And this social media thing, they circulate mm. all their videos. So, like people are getting to know mm -hmm. real Africa, not the book Africa. Yeah. A lot of people... A lot of people talk about traveling. It's a lot mm -hmm. more people are yeah. traveling like so, to Ghana yeah. and Nigeria. Yeah, so it's it, it, just that the, if like the politicians <clears throat> make like, they, they, they do more jobs, they create more jobs, they do really like none of us will really? travel. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, yes, none of us will travel, and you can see, um, but they're, they're not. it's not like Africa is rich, babe. When when we say Africa, Africa is rich than the whole than Europe. Why is it? Ah, manganese, bauxite, gold, diamond, trees. What what mention? Uh, raw cocoa. What did he mention? Mm. Oil. We have oil. Mm. Ghana. We have some some place like example. Some place like Georgia, Alabama, uh, Mississippi, mm. New York. It's good area. Mm. It's good town. Mm. You, you you go people. Go, we have something called Galamse. Mm -hmm. Right, people dig and go uh, the ground and take gold, the gold from there. Mm -hmm. It's good like that, and our gold is, is pure. When you see it, it's not like this 18 karat, mm -hmm. 25 karat gold, like it's like that. Mm -hmm. But you see, we don't have to set anything in place, that is the thing. Mm -hmm. I think our politicians they are not helping us, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. Americans. We used to don't have a lot of things, but they do, they, you know, they do a lot of things mm -hmm. to help their people. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about this COVID thing, Africa came to the world to ask for help. 
Tell me, Americans, uh, uh, American president, give us money. If you pay your taxes, you will get money. You are mm, did you, did you do get money. Oh, you talking about? I'm trying to follow what you're saying. You talking about the? Uh, no, the, you are sleeping. 